I have just arrived to the paradise island of Thailand called Kopangan. This used to be my favorite place in Thailand and one of the best places to come in Southeast Asia. But it seems like it has changed a lot within the last year. So we'll see if it's still one of the best places to come. I will show you in this video. I'm here in the Malibu beach in the north side of Kopangan. This place is absolutely paradise. It's pretty much like Maldives, so it's like affordable place to experience Maldives basically, so it's pretty awesome. I also live really close to this beach, so I will show you the apartment later, it's really awesome area to stay. It's also definitely more busy now even in the morning on the beach, there's always people playing volleyball and there's a lot of people here. Last time I was here in December it was way less busy, but yeah it's high season now and definitely Kopangan getting more famous, it's not so small empty island anymore, which can be really nice that there's more going on and there's more people to activities with but uh, of course the price is also hello <laughs> the price is also going up so yeah I will show all the prices later in this video also if it's still so affordable like before I don't know <laughs> excuse me sir And how can you get to Kopangan? Basically there's no airport in Kopangan, so you need to fly to the next island, Koh Samui, and then take ferry from there. That's quite simple and easy and affordable process, but also if you can get cheaper flights to Phuket, you can also just fly to Phuket and then get there, like uh, from this one website, you get ferry and bus combination. So that can be more affordable, but a little bit more travel to do that. And for visas, it's so easy in Thailand, you get 30 days visa on arrival without doing anything, basically you just arrive and go through the immigration and you can extend the visa for extra 30 days or even more and more so you can easily stay here for a little bit longer and there's immigration office in Kopangan so you don't need to go and you can do it here so it's quite nice and what about development in Kopangan? I would say that it's definitely not as fast as in Bali, it's not that crazy, but when I arrived I'm like, why it looks so different in this area where I stay? And I realized that the reason is this. There's definitely a lot more this happening here, that they're destroying the palm trees and the nature to build something. And it is really sad, but at the same time the nature is still really awesome here. It's just some spots that really doesn't look the same anymore like this used to be so awesome area with the 7-eleven and just palm trees all around but not so much anymore but the good thing is that the beach road is still as awesome as ever it's really nice to walk every morning to go to the beach with this and there's definitely also a lot of development happening in Kopangan that is really good and awesome thing so I will show later one thing that I'm super super happy they bring to Kopangan and this is the Airbnb I'm staying it's really awesome spot we have this nice pool area for chilling and swimming with some palm tree views there's just eight apartments here so it's quite nice spot in the north side the area is basically the best thing about this I will show the room room later and the price and everything it's quite surprising for you probably but yeah we'll see if you think it's worth it for me it's just so nice to stay in this area but the negative is that it's quite far from the main areas it's like 15 minutes to 20 minutes drive to the main towns and cafes and everything so that's why I booked this really nice brand new Yamaha NMAX so it's really so much more comfortable to drive to the main areas every day because it goes so smoothly with the good bike but the negative is that the new bike big bike like this in Thailand is quite expensive to rent it's still worth it in my opinion because it's just so nice to drive around with this kind of bike but yeah I will go now to the main town to show you how it is there how it is to drive there And I have arrived to the main town to stay and where most of the cafes and everything where people hang around. It's not too bad drive because the roads are really nice and this nice scenery as you saw. It's so busy here now and there's quite many new restaurants and cafes in this area. I came today to check this new vegan cafe that has five star reviews that have been open only for five months it's pretty nice looking spot and very popular yeah never mind i was planning to work there but laptops are not allowed it's actually the second time this happens now in kopangan so somehow they seem to have had problems with people on their laptops in the cafes and they 
not really allowing it in some places. Be careful, by the way, when driving on scooter here. There's so much sand of many of the roads, so it's extremely slippery. I'm going a little bit further to hunt for another cafe, and I'm just driving past my gym, and I wanted to just show quickly. I was here a few days ago. I It wasn't too busy at all, and the price is still really good for a gym with awesome view and nice gym and also sauna and ice pad and everything. So, yeah, I think it's mostly tourists nowadays. In the tourist area, it's really busy in the cafes and everything. It's really awesome spot and the laptop was allowed here and there's a lot of people working here. It's so busy in Kopanga now I feel like I'm just getting overwhelmed with the business and this main area. In my area it's not too bad but even there I feel like it's not so peaceful spot anymore but of course like having so many people around makes it way more lively like there's uh, advertisement for all kinds of events and parties and everything all the time and of course it's nice that there's people around and you can meet people. I'm here in Chaloklum testing this new Thai restaurant with the best view ever. This is life. It's really awesome. And yeah, in Kopangan nowadays, when it comes to food, there's so many options for Western food, all kind of food. And of course, Thai food is awesome. And there's so many restaurants that are really good and the price is good. The price is generally for Western food is not as cheap as in Bali, but it's pretty good price. Nothing to complain. And there's so many options that it never gets boring. And also ordering food is nowadays possible with this one app here. It's not as cheap and it doesn't work so well as in Bali and in bigger places, but it's good that there's many options you can order food from here also or from app because before on the app there was only like one or two options to order from. So it's big improvement that you can now order from many, many places. So yeah, it makes it more suitable for long-term living in my opinion. And as Kopangan is in Thailand, there's of course many of these amazing food markets and that's what I love about Thailand also, that there's so many nice markets you can come always and get affordable food and drinks and snacks and everything. I just got my favorite shoes today from the place and yeah, holy smokes, it's so busy here. It's really crazy, it definitely wasn't like this during the low season. But yeah, basically here you have option to get from those shacks or you can get from this kind of like more like proper restaurant food from this area. And there's so many other markets in Kopangan, so yeah, it's really nice to have this in addition to all the restaurants that you can go and there's so many good food, so many different foods you can try always. One thing I'm super happy that the development has bring to Kopangan is paddle. There's a couple of paddle clubs here now, which is awesome. I came to try this one for a tournament today. Super excited because in Kopangan before, like it's amazing to focus on the gym and running and going to the beach and spa and sauna and ice bath and all these things that I love. But it's really awesome that there's one more activity to do here. So for long term, it's nice that it doesn't get boring after a few months because there's not many activities like this to do, but now it's perfect. This was so fun tournament. They organize a couple of tournaments every week and have chat also to find open games. It's a really beautiful place, good way to meet people and also have good vibes and fun games. And I will show you the apartment now. It's actually the same place I stayed last time and it was $600 during the low season and now during the high season it's $1,100. So quite much a difference between low season and high season so you can take that into account. But yeah, it's pretty nice apartment. The Wi-Fi works very well so it's nice for working and the view is really nice. Close to the beach, giving the palm tree vibes even when you home working. And yeah, it's really big apartment. <laughs> That's nice here that there's a lot of space for yoga and everything. And there's sofa and dining table. Basically everything you need for a apartment you have here. There's kitchen that is good enough for some basic cooking and they have everything you need. And there's so much closet space for everything everywhere here. So it's really nice for longer stay. This is the bedroom. It's a comfortable, nice bed, AC here also, big closet again. And this is the bathroom, works well, decent, nothing to complain. Yeah, it's pretty much an apartment that is good for long stay. There's nothing fancy here, but everything works really well and there's no space for everything. So super happy with this, it's basically, yeah, my 
everything I want in an apartment anywhere I stay. So it kind of feels like it's worth the price. Not sure what you think. Do you think it's worth the price or not? I came to check out this sunset bar called Blue Rama and it's insane. It's the most insane sunset view I ever seen. It's just so beautiful. Oh, it feels so good to swim and look at this view. It's insane. But yeah, they have minimum spend of 600 baht per person. So not the most cheap place to come, but it's definitely worth it to check it out at least once. It's quite busy and lively here also. Something I noticed the last few days when I went to the gym more that is very busy there also most of the time. It just depends on the time and the sauna is actually really nice. There's so many people always socializing, everybody just really friendly and it's so easy to meet people there and the vibe is quite spiritual sometimes. I kind of like it but yeah it's a lot sometimes. I got my very expensive vegan burger and some sparkling water. It's surprisingly good but yeah I would definitely rather just take a coconut but they don't have coconut but yeah whatever. The sunsets here in Kopangan are literally insane every single day. So beautiful from here too and then from the beach and all the sunset bars and anywhere basically it has been pretty insane every single day when I've been here. And the first impressions of Kopangan now is that it's absolutely paradise, like it's so beautiful, it's really amazing. But it's a little bit pricey, it's a little bit busy, but it's still I, I really love this island, it's really amazing. And yeah, like and subscribe for more videos from Kopangan, see you next week.